let's play a quick game. I'll use Affinity for three common photo editing scenarios and I'll have AI do the same and see who wins. First challenge, put the coffee on the table next to the laptop. As I'm dealing with a white background for the coffee image, I can use the multiply blend mode to get the shadows on the table. But first, let me duplicate the coffee layer, disable the original layer and use the object selection tool to make a selection of the coffee. With the selection active, I can now create the mask. I now have the coffee without the background on a separate layer. When I enable the original coffee layer and set its blend mode to multiply, I get a pretty nice end result. Keep in mind that I was lucky that the background was white and the shadows match the shadows of the background image. If this was not the case, the whole process would have taken much more effort. But let's switch to Higgsfield and with the Nano Banana Pro model, upload the two images and give the prompt to put the coffee approximately on the same position on the table. I'm not happy with the position and size, so I'm going to generate once more using the last generation as a basis and then ask it to move it closer to the laptop and make it slightly bigger. Man, that looks great. I'll download the image so we can compare later on in the video. Next challenge, apply a pattern. The blue pattern should be applied to the white face. Just as in the first challenge, I need a copy of the face, for which I will use the select object tool. This time, instead of creating a mask, I will just copy and paste. Affinity will now create a new pixel layer with the vase only. Let me also resize and reposition the pattern layer and then drag it into the pixel layer I just created. This will clip the pattern to the vase. When I set the blend mode to multiply, I do get a nice fill of the vase. To make the effect look a bit more realistic, we can use the mesh warp filter and warp the pattern until it feels like it's wrapped around the vase. After some fiddling, I think I have a pretty decent result. I'm almost pretty sure that the AI is going to do a much better job. So let's upload the image with the vase and the pattern and then prompt to apply the pattern to the vase. That looks amazing. Let's download it to compare later. Our last quick challenge is removing acne. For this image, I'm going to duplicate the image layer and then add an invert adjustment to the duplicate. On top of the invert, I'll add a high pass filter and set its radius to a value where the details are visible. I'll now set the blend mode of this layer to vivid light. This will soften the details of the whole image, but I just want this to be applied to the acne. So I'll add an empty mask and with a white brush paint on the acne areas. This way, I soften the acne and they should be less prominent. To completely get rid of the acne, I'll add a pixel layer on top and use the healing brush to get rid of the acne totally. Okay, here is the before and here is the after. Not a bad job for a quick retouch, but let's see how the AI will take care of this. Again, I can just upload the image with the acne and ask it to remove it. I just give up. It just looks perfect. Let's now compare the images and I'll let you decide who did a better job. Here is my version of the acne removed and the AI version. The vase with a pattern, added by me, and here is how AI did it. And finally, the coffee on the table, by me and the AI. Let me know in the comments what you think. Quick note though, as you might have guessed, I tried to achieve the end result as quickly as possible. My results would probably have been much better if I spent more time on it. Thanks again for tuning in and see you in the next video.